I need to find the pro. I need the uh, pro thing. I already put it. it. Oh, you already put it in. Perfect. Cool, cool, yep. cool. So now we'll jump back into Elementor. And pro is unlocked for us. That's awesome. So let's go here and let's go to theme builder. One of the other benefits of pro is you get to use templates. Like it's designed by Elementor. And that's like this stuff right here. So, so which one do you like? Oh boy. I, they're all so great. Typically, like I have this page that I always build on my sites called Bikini Atoll. Like, it's where, like references where they used to test like nuclear bombs. Mm -hmm. And I just fill that page with these templates to kind of pick and choose what I like. Um, but if we're just going to start with one, I kind of like that one that says join the ride. Join That's the ride. Top left. It's catching my eye the most out of all these. All right, let's insert it, get started, connect. Oh, it's funny, it's going to like, <laughs> we have like two connections to this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this one's it. So this is a email subscriber and some kind of uh, action shot. So let's base it off of that, okay? Yeah, so instead of join the ride, follow the podcast. Follow the podcast. And then uh, we should also put the um, the links to buy me a coffee and everything down here as well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. So luckily, we do <laughs> actually do bi-weekly, but we're not doing newsletters. We do podcasts with stories from our latest adventures and travel tips, and we'll do business tips. See? Super simple. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> Adventure 21, unfortunately. Can I change this? I think it's like title is current date time. That's no way it's pulling. Yeah. Um, do you do, 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 do. copyright? It's like it's getting to the point now. If we're collecting any personal identification details about people, um, mm -hmm. like email, like technically you need a privacy policy nowadays. Like yes. it's just something to keep in mind with your websites. But for the sake of the demonstration, we're not going to do that. Um, I am a what's it called? Termageddon affiliate. <laughs> so reach out if you are have any questions about that because I have um, some great resources. I like it. Do we want to subscribe? Or... Yeah. Oh, change it out. Um, just do follow and then email. I really like how this is set up. Let's see if we can change this block. So if it is, that's interesting. It could be background. So, oh, there we go. And then I don't mind the lime green, but I think the blue would look better. Ooh. All right. Good. So imagery. Don't you already have some imagery? I have some for, for Bubble Media. I don't know if it's still in here. Let's find out. What about the uh, the uh, cover that you did for what's it called? YouTube. Okay. Um, let's see. Fun stuff. It's telling me to take that off the page. All right. Let's see. Portfolio. Go. YouTube thumbnails. Gun in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> center, center, no repeat and cover. And you can do contain if you want, which will add the whole image. It really doesn't matter. That um, blue contrasting with the other blue looks a little weird. Yeah, so we'll change this to something else. Yeah, I think that works for now. Okay. This is a real quick together, like mm -hmm. showing people how to do this. So expect it to not look the prettiest. YouTube and Instagram. Obviously, you can do your actual YouTube channel, which will go to our channel. Hey guys, welcome to a deep rooted. I don't know if you've ever seen that, but that's why I was calling you the other it. day. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go watch that. Uh, you put that as the header <laughs> instead of the link. All right. So, oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't think 
when you hit save, it asks you where you want this to show. So you have to do display conditions and add condition, entire site, perfect. Maybe let's say like there's certain pages that you don't want this footer to show on. This is how you would tweak that kind of thing. Like you could exclude it, um, but mm. for the most part it works pretty good like for it. just doing entire site. If I'm not, if there's like a specific page I don't want this to appear on, usually I just do canvas template. So that way it doesn't include anything that we have happening to the site, but that's a little bit more advanced.